anybody that knows me, I used to drink E&J like so heavy. Like I was a, which is so dirty. Like, okay, it's not dirty. When I ask for interaction, it's like zilch. But I ain't doing for it. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Q&A as you can tell by the title. Um, I took a picture of the questions on my phone. I scanned through them of course, but I didn't like look at them in depth. So I'm gonna, like most of my answers would be off the fly. That's what I was hoping for. Um, and yeah, we don't have to talk too much. We can just get right into it. I hope it's quick, but I don't know. Y'all know I like to talk a lot. And before we get started, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. If you hear a question that you know you have an answer to or something, feel free to comment because I want to hear your responses too because some of these are cool. They're intriguing. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Okay, question number one. You have one table with four seats, not including yours. Who are you having your last dinner with? It can be anyone. That is so hard. Um, my mom and dad, are, of course, are going to be on there. Four people? My mom, my dad... Oh, I want to pick celebrities, but I don't know. And then I have three siblings, so that is like... Okay, maybe I won't do family just so that I don't have to. My mom, my dad, my family. Oh my God, I can't do that. I can't do that. I gotta be fine. My family, my mom, my dad, my sister, my two brothers. I gotta be, I can't. What is one person you ask for advice right now, dead or alive? I would ask my grandma, Heather. Um, I was named after her. I don't, I never met her. She passed away before I was born and... I've never had, you know, that grim, my grandmother advice. That's my maternal grandmother. So I would really love to have a conversation with her. I would love to hear, you know, her opinion because I'm told we are so much alike. So yeah. What you doing if you go out on a first date and the guy has B.O.? I'm somebody I have, I want to say a week. That would like, ugh, like I would have to say something. But I don't know. I feel like I feel like I would have an anxiety attack trying to figure out even how to say something. <laughs> but it's like I would not be able to just not say nothing at all. Especially because, you know, you would want somebody to tell you. That's how I look at stuff. So granted, the date might have to be cut short, but it's like I'm going to have to tell them. Are you an olive eating person or no? I am not. I do not like olives. Granted, I have not tried one since I was probably in like elementary school. So I maybe I don't know. But as of right now, that's a no for me. <laughs> dream valentine's date dream birthday vacay dream wedding theme okay dreams valentine's day um it's like very corny but i would want to do like the whole be ready by eight red roses when you pull up nice tight black sexy dress go out to a nice restaurant that's always been like how you see in the movies i'm a hopeless romantic i think that would be my dream valentine's date um Dream birthday vacay. I haven't really been anywhere, so I don't have a necessary preference because anywhere is like new to me. But I do, I don't know. I, I like to be by the water. I'm a Pisces. I like to be by the water. I went to Orlando, not Orlando, um, Fort Lauderdale for my birthday this year. And like that was even just so nice. So I feel like just somewhere tropical. But I always say anywhere because I haven't been anywhere. So dream wedding theme. Honestly, I haven't thought about that. It's definitely giving white, and I feel like when I have talked about it, I haven't thought about it in depth, basically, but I would want light pastel colors, and of course me white, whatever, but the um, the wedding party, light pastel colors, like pastel pink, stuff like that, you know. Yeah. That's, these are good. <laughs> Do you see yourself with kids in the future, and if so, how many and why? Um, I go back and forth about this. Like anybody that talks to me on a daily basis, like knows, like I'm so like, yeah, I would love kids. And then the next day I'm like, mm, no ma'am. But I think if I were to have children, um, I would want to have one of each. Cause with my family, there's always two boys, two girls. So my mom had two boys, two girls. My mom's parents had two boys, two girls. My dad has two girls. On his, like his sisters he has two sisters and there's just him as a boy but I would want one of each for sure um but I ain't doing for it I think that's what I mean so just one of each I don't yeah what's the oldest thing you actually remember YouTubing when you were growing up Asia star that really just popped in like 
Asia Star or the asking all them questions. Those we used to YouTube Asia Star like. <laughs> oh my gosh, Asia Star, that's crazy. I forgot all about her. Wow. What do you think about people wearing hats in the club? I feel like that isn't actually no. After I just thought about that, it's like I don't see the issue, but it's like you don't know what they could have in their hat. But I feel like if you search somebody, it's not that serious. Like if they were, if you pat down, take the hat off, look under the hat, like not that deep. I get where the concern could come from with having a hat on, I guess, but I don't know. That's just not that serious to me. I feel like like we'd be bringing whole persons in and granted we get them searched down, but still. What do you think about people wearing glasses in the club? I don't know. I've never done it personally. I would though, but at the same time, I've never done it because I can't see. Like you, you don't be able to see. So I don't, I don't know. But it do be cool because I know for it. Okay, speaking for me personally, when I'm drunk, you can tell. Like my eyes be so red and I, I look drunk. So that is why I like glasses. But I don't be able to see if it's dark. So <laughs> what do you pack to go to the airport? Everything my whole life. I'm definitely, I don't like, granted I can do a carry on if we have to, but I'm definitely a check a bag girl because I want to pack every single thing. I want to pack every single liquid item like yeah hair care routine um i use my tie conditioning cocktail um i just started using the chi chai heat protectant stuff um but my daily hair care routine honestly i probably wet my hair a little too much and that's probably why i'd be dry I don't think i got any that's probably why i'd be dry but i use um the shea moisture conditioning shampoo i like to keep the conditioner in my hair a lot and then aside from that i just put my tie conditioning hair oil in it and now I go. Um, are you allergic to anything? I am not. I do be saying I'm allergic to cut grass, but I feel like, you know, everybody kind of gets itchy around cut grass, but like I will start breaking out of hives and stuff. Are you a mint chocolate chip eater? I do not like mint chocolate chip ice cream, but I do. There's like these Dove mint chocolates and I low key do like them, but that's the only like type I like. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? I would usually say chocolate chip cookie dough, but I'm actually really hooked on, well, peanut butter half baked is actually, it does have that in it, but I'm hooked on Ben and Jerry's peanut butter half baked. It's chocolate chip cookie dough, peanut butter, clump, peanut butter cookie dough or something like, Google it, brownie batter, it's, it got everything in it. And it's so good, but I, I'm one of the people, so I only like peanut butter when it has chocolate. Like I don't, unless it's like peanut butter and celery or something like that, or like I'll eat a peanut butter and jelly, but like I'm a peanut butter and chocolate girl. I love peanut butter and chocolate. What is your face type of liquor and what do you absolutely avoid? I absolutely avoid vodka. I do not like vodka. I mean, I will have a mixed drink with it, but I really do like to avoid it because I always get a headache. Um, the type of liquor I do like, I do like tequila. I will drink Henny, but I'm not, I used to be on dark a little bit, like heavy, but I'm not anymore. Anybody that knows me, I used to drink E&J like so heavy. Like I was, a, which is so dirty. Like, okay, it's not dirty because whoever drinks this, you know, it's fine. But I don't know. Like now I will throw up at the thought of E&J. Like, but I'm definitely a tequila girl and I can drink dark if I do say it's good too. Like I, I would say both. I would say both, but I preferably I'm going for a tequila when I'm going in the liquor store. Okay, I thought we were done, but we're actually not. Um... Because I had posted, okay, tra quick transparency moment. I had posted this three times because I have a lot of people that watch my story and then they don't say nothing. Like, that's what I mean. I would understand if I didn't get the views, but I get a lot of views or like just a lot of views for my follower account. And I don't, they don't interact. And they, the things they interact on is like the non-important stuff or like the, you know, just dumb stuff. But like when I ask for interaction, it's like zilch. So I posted it three different times and I forgot about the first time I had posted it. We had a couple more. So are you going to branch out to other makeup products, shadows, blush, etc.? I am. I'm not going to say what, but I am. Right now I sell lip liners and lip gloss and I did sell lip, uh, what did I sell? I sold lip scrubs and lip, did I say? yeah, I sold lip scrubs and lip balms before. Now... I feel like because I sold them, that's not going to count. But that's what I mean. I will do something new aside from the four products that I have already sold. But I'm not saying what I'm going to do. What's one thing you want to accomplish before the year is over? <sighs> that's hard because I have so many things I want to accomplish before the year is over. I really want to get my apartment situated, especially my balcony, because I do have a balcony and I really want to get that situated. These are like little small things. With my When it comes to my business, I do want to get... Um, well, I'm branching out now and doing pickup and delivery, so that's going to be good. But I just really want to have a solid marketing 
aspect, you know, and not just when it comes to flyers and stuff, but I'm talking more so like um, texting, emailing, like I really lack on that part and I have the tools available to me to do it, but I just, you know, lack. And I really want to be more um, consistent with my working out because I tend to, I will be very consistent. Like I've been consistent for a year now, but it's like, I'll go from working out three times out the week to one. And it's like, why, why? But yeah, those are just a few things off the top of my head. How long were you planning on making lip gloss before you actually started? I actually started, I will attach a screenshot if I can find the picture because I know it's in my story archives on Instagram. But I started brainstorming. I launched in December 2019. I started brainstorming in at least June of 2019. So at least like six months prior to when I actually dropped and made everything. What's one thing that keeps you motivated? This is a good last question. What's one thing that keeps you motivated for your business? Um, me, I keep myself motivated because I know my potential. I know the amount of creativity I have within myself and I know how far I can go if I maximize all those things. And I feel like I talked about this in another video, but I just really need to start maximizing myself. Like I maximize when it comes to everything else. I maximize my potential when it comes to everything else, my job, my um, friendships, like every, I give my all for everything. But then when it comes to me, I don't have enough left for me. So I really want to start put, giving my all to myself. So I am my own motivation when it comes to my business. My family is motivation when it comes to my business because you never know, like, I try not to think like that, but it's like, of course, like it's lip gloss. Like I sell lip gloss, but it's like, you don't, I don't know where lip gloss could take me. Like lip gloss could take me very far. So who knows? And you know, that's what I mean. I just have to keep myself motivated. I have to know that I'm destined for greater and that is going to continue to push me every single day. Um, but that is all. That's officially all. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you heard a comment or like you heard, um, a question you might have liked or had an answer to or you know you just want to share if you just want to share just feel free to please interact in the comments below i have some exciting content coming up so and hopefully a camera soon i think i am just gonna dive all the way in and get a camera i was gonna wait just to like make sure i'm consistent first but i feel like i've been pretty consistent so we're just gonna dive right in um and i hope to see you all in my next video bye